Hey everybody, this is Naya with The Ritual Muse and I wanted to tell you about my new deck. Uh, last October, I launched an Oracle deck kind of by accident. I was in the midst of painting a tarot deck and I realized it's going to take a very long time for me to finish that deck. I'm trying to put my majors on 30 by 30 canvases so it's gonna take years. But as an intuitive reader, I needed to dig into the traditional meanings of the cards again, so I pulled my book out and just kind of discovered and started thinking about past pieces I'd already done. And then I dove into those archives and created a deck. This was the Tattered Wings Oracle. Some of you may have it. The It was um, 58 cards, I believe, and it included some ritual cards as well. The deck did really well, continues to do really well, still available for purchase. It came with a Tattered Wings Oracle Companion. And this book, um, this large book is no longer available, but there's a, well, I can't reach it, it's up there, but there's a, a regular book that has all the same information in it. Um, pardon my post-its, I'm working on something, I'm gonna tell you about in a second. Um, that deck came with a mantra so it was meant to be pulled just just one card at a time um, I guess it wasn't meant for that but each card has a message a mantra to carry the energies throughout your day and then a guided meditation just a little paragraph to kind of help you sink in a little bit deeper to how it resonates for you uh, personally this little bitty baby has grown all the way up to the warrior edition Warrior Edition is a big card, it's as big as my head. Um, and there are a lot of the same cards that are in the original Oracle, but they look different. Uh, for example, this is the Truth card. Well, there we go. This is the Truth card in the original deck. This is the Truth card in the Warrior Edition. This one's a little bit closer to the actual painting as far as the colors. Um, so some small changes like that. I've removed the ritual cards, there are no ritual cards in this deck, but there are 17 new cards that you have not seen yet. Um, for example, uh, Elysian, which was featured with my first uh, first short story I had published back in February with Witch Zine. The Healing Pool, which is a really big painting in my corner, it's not finished yet, but this little piece of it is finished. It's called The Healing Pool. There are a few paintings that I have never even shown anybody that are in this deck. And uh, let's see, I needed to pull that one out. And of course there's a couple new moon, new moon cards because I'm a lunar witch and I paint the moon all of the time. Um, so with this deck, it's gonna be a little bit different. So some of, some of the information that was in the original companion book is going to you know kind of carry on into this deck but this deck is a little bit different it's going to come with a companion workbook right now at the rate that i'm going this workbook is going to be about 300 pages if not more and each card in the beginning is meant to be read one card at a time and then it's going to take you on a deep dive into some shadow work with that card and the purpose of that is because um, I just want us to get emotionally, spiritually, physically healthy. Um, and a lot of us are unable to do that because we are carrying around some trauma and some things. I'm not going to get into that just yet, but I just wanted to introduce you to the deck right now. This deck is not going to be available as a Kickstarter. That's my current decision. It's um, with a book that big, the presentation and everything, I just want it to be really cool. So... Um, I want to take my time with it, but I hope to have it available for everyone to purchase by this summer, and it should only be available on my website. It's the plan. Anyway, but that's it. It's, um, they're really cool big cards, and I hope that you guys are excited about them. I hope that you, um, kind of follow along and watch the journey as this one continues to be born. If you're not already following my Instagram page, it's uh, this deck specifically is at the tattered wild and there's underscores in between each word. And we're going to dig into each of these cards together on that one. And that is it. You guys, I just wanted to show you the deck and let you know what's coming up. So 
If that's exciting, hit me a like at the bottom, subscribe to the channel. All those things you're supposed to do on YouTube, I don't even know yet. But thanks for watching, y'all. Take care.